went out into the forest, and when he'd walked a short time, he met a little man who was, however, the devil. <laughs> the little man said to him, What ails you? You seem so very sorrowful. Then the soldier said, I am hungry, but I have no money. The devil said, If you will hire yourself to me, and be my serving man, you shall have enough for all your life. You shall serve me for seven years, and after that you shall again be free. But one thing I must tell you, and that is, you must not wash, comb, or trim yourself, or cut your hair, or nails, or wipe the water from your eyes. The soldier said, all right, if there's no help for it, and went off with the little man, who straight away led him down into hell. Then he told him what he had to do. He was to poke the fire under the kettles, wherein the hell broth was doing, keep the house clean, drive all the sweepings behind the doors, and see that everything was in order, but if he once peeped into the kettles, it would go ill with him. The soldier said, Good, I will take care. And then the old devil went down to Kin on his wanderings, and the soldier entered upon his new duties, made the fire, and swept the dirt well behind the doors, just as he had been bitten. When the old devil came back again, he looked to see if all had been done, appeared satisfied, and went forth a second time. The soldier now took a good look on every side. The kettles were standing all round hell, with a mighty fire below them, and inside they were boiling and sputtering. He would have given anything to look inside them if the devil had not so particularly forbidden him. At last, he could no longer restrain himself, slightly raised the lid of the first kettle and peeped in, and there he saw his former corporal shut in. Aha, old bird, said he, do I meet you here? You once had me in your power, now I have you. And he quickly let the lid fall, poked the fire, and added a fresh log. After that, he went to the second kettle, raised its lid also a little, and peeped in. His former ensign was in that. Aha, old bird, so I find you here. You once had me in your power, now I have you. He closed the lid again, and fetched yet another log to make it really hot. Then he wanted to see who might be sitting up in the third kettle. It was actually a general. Aha, old bird, do I meet you here? Once you had me in your power, now I have you. And he fetched the bellows and made an hellfire blaze right under him. So he did his work, seven years in hell, did not wash, comb, or trim himself, or cut his hair, or nails, or wash the water out of his eyes, and the seven years seemed so short to him that he thought he'd only been half a year. Now when the time had fully gone by, the devil came and said, Well, Hans, what have you done? I poked the fire under the kettles, and I have swept all the dirt well behind the doors. But, 